Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. What is consent mode and why do you need it? In this video, we're going to cover Google consent mode. If you haven't implemented consent mode yet, it lets you send details about people's consent choices to Google. We're going to cover what it is and why you need it. Let's start by explaining consent mode and the difference between consent mode v2 and the previous version, which is sometimes called consent mode v1. Overall, consent mode lets you tell Google if someone has provided consent when they visit your website. For example, if you want to create a Google Ads remarketing campaign that targets people located in Europe, you will need to implement consent mode. If you don't, data collected from people based in Europe won't be available in your Google Ads account for remarketing. Consent mode works with the consent banner on your website. If you're using a consent management platform like CookieBot, it will automatically pass people's consent preferences to Google. For example, once someone clicks allow all on your consent banner, cookies will be stored on their browser and all of the information will be available in Google Analytics, Google Ads, and other advertising and analytics platforms you're using. Google has also said they're strengthening the enforcement of their EU user consent policy. Let's take a look at this policy. It says that you need to obtain consent from people located in Europe to use cookies and to use data for ad personalization. This means if you're only using Google Analytics on your website and you're not using Google Ads, you might still need to implement consent mode if people located in Europe can visit your website. So that's something you will need to consider. Now you might be wondering what's the difference between consent mode v2 and the previous version of consent mode, which is also called consent mode v1. Let's take a look. When consent mode was first introduced, it let you tell Google if people had provided consent to store analytics and advertising cookies in their browser. To do this, we could set values for the analytics storage and ad storage parameters. For example, when someone came to our website, we would set the default consent state to denied. And when they granted permission for cookies to be stored, we would change the value of these parameters to granted. The values of denied and granted are then included with data that is sent to Google. So with previous version of consent mode, also called consent mode v1, we set values for analytic storage and ad storage. In order to meet legal requirements in Europe, Google released consent mode v2. Let's take a look. This version still includes the analytic storage and ad storage parameters, but it introduces two new parameters for consent. These are the ad user data and ad personalization parameters. The ad user data parameter tells Google if someone has provided consent to have their data used for advertising. And the ad personalization parameter tells Google if someone allows their data to be used for personalized advertising. This includes remarketing, where you target ads to people after they've left your website. Now that I've covered the difference between consent mode v2 and the previous version, I'm going to answer the top questions about consent mode. First up, do you need to implement consent mode? To answer this, I recommend asking yourself the following questions. Are you collecting data from people located in Europe? This includes collecting data into Google Ads and Google Analytics. And are you running remarketing campaigns in Google Ads that target people located in Europe? If you answered yes to either of these questions, then you need to implement consent mode. If you answered no, but you might in the future, then you should also consider implementing consent mode sooner rather than later. And just to highlight, you will need to implement consent mode before you can start building audience lists for your marketing campaigns in Google Ads. The next question is, what happens if consent mode isn't implemented? If you're not collecting any data from people located in Europe, currently nothing changes. However, if you want to run your marketing campaigns in Google Ads and you haven't implemented consent mode, then people located in Europe won't be added to your audience list. Google's EU user consent policy says you need consent to use cookies. Based on my test, data will still be available in Google Analytics reports for people located in Europe, even if you don't implement consent mode. And while this is what I've found, it doesn't mean you should wait to implement consent mode. Google, along with the European regulations, require that we have consent before we collect and use personal data, which includes browser cookies. Next up, is consent mode required for tracking conversions in Google Ads? If you want to track conversions from people located in Europe, then you need to implement consent mode. This is because Google Ads uses cookies by default and collects information that falls under the European regulations. So you do need consent to collect this data and send it to Google. If you're not tracking conversions from people located in Europe, then currently you don't need to implement consent mode. 
However, user privacy requirements are evolving and it's probably best to be ready for more changes when it comes to data collection and privacy. And while you can track conversions into Google Ads without consent mode, using consent mode means available cookies will be used for more accurate reporting. Plus, with consent mode V2, Google Ads can use data modeling to fill in missing conversions. The next question is, if consent isn't provided, will data be collected into Google Analytics? This depends on if consent mode has been implemented, and if it has, it will also depend on how it has been implemented. Basically, if consent mode hasn't been implemented using a consent banner on your website, then you will still be collecting data from people located in Europe into your reports. If you have implemented consent mode and consent isn't provided, basic information or hits will be sent to Google Analytics. If you collect enough of these basic or anonymous hits, Google Analytics will use machine learning to provide model data in your report. It will take some time for model data to become available. Finally, what's the difference between advanced consent mode and basic consent mode? Using advanced consent mode means that tags for Google's platforms like the Google tag for Google Ads and Google Analytics will automatically adjust the data they collect based on people's consent preferences. For example, if you're sending data to Google Analytics, basic information will be sent to Google Analytics before consent has been granted. Then, when consent is granted, cookies will be created and the tag will send all of the available information to Google Analytics. Using basic consent mode means that no data will be sent to Google's platforms until consent has been granted. Until consent is granted, no data will be sent to Google Analytics. We've now covered what consent mode is, the difference between consent mode v2 and the previous version, when we need to use consent mode, and what happens if we don't use it. That would be all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Here's something you shouldn't miss before we wrap up this video. Say goodbye to traffic woes and start driving quality traffic today. Make any business profitable with lower ad costs, higher conversions from Facebook ads, get leads, buyers, make sales, and outperform every competitor in any niche with Adplify. Adplify gives you the value of seven powerful Facebook SaaS products in one insane package. Page Watcher, Track Competitor, or Guru Ads. Hidden Audience Finder, Get Cheaper Clicks and Better ROI. Behavioral Retargeter, Get higher conversions with behavioral retargeting. Page targeter. Get market intelligence in audiences from competitor pages. Email list to audience. Continuous retargeting for your autoresponder list. And a lot more. So track Adplify now. Go to getadplify.in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.